Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever, but I've been seeing a lot of videos uh, the last few months of YouTubers rating different things. I was looking through a bunch of photos and I realized how many headshots I have throughout the years and some of them are pretty good and then some of them are really bad so I thought it'd be so much fun to rate my old headshots and I will tag every photographer that I've worked with. Most of my headshots I've actually gotten for free because I did something called TFP which I used to do all of the time and if you're new I would definitely recommend that except you know right now being really careful because of COVID but um yeah let's let's rate my headshots. I do want to say that a few of these that are trade, you know, TFP trade for photos, um, we didn't know what we were doing. So even though they are really talented photographers, you know, for fashion or I don't know, just different kinds of photographers, we didn't know necessarily how to make actor headshots because actor headshots are very specific. Um, there's a lot of things that go into a good headshot, but I'm just going to rate the ones that I have. No disrespect or anything to the photographers that I worked with because at the time I liked these photos. And throughout the video, I'm going to tell you why I do like them and just little things in case you are an actor, an aspiring actor, or never really know which photos to choose when you get headshots done. Uh, I'm gonna tell you like my thought process as to why I do like these or I don't like them. Here's that I did this and then who I um, went with. So I'm gonna tell you which ones I actually paid for and then which ones I collaborated with and just tell you a little bit in general about these headshots. By the way, my name is Bill Hika, if you've never been to my channel, I'm an actress and I make acting related videos all of the time, all kinds of videos. So if you have any questions about acting that I might be able to answer, I also have lots of videos. And if I don't know something um, that you ask me, then we can investigate it together and I can make a video about it. So leave me a comment, tell me you're here and subscribe if you want to. So my tiers are at the top. I put booked, even though it looks like the roar should be at the top because it's red. I don't know. I put booked like I know I booked a job with that callback. I might have gotten a callback for it. Um, it looks like me, just a photo that at least looks like me. So good job on putting it on my casting networks accounts. Um, social media post is like, it should have just been a social media post. It should not have been used as a headshot. And then don't submit means just don't, don't, don't put it anywhere. Don't submit it to an audition. Don't put it on social media. Just delete it. All these photographers are talented. I love them. Some of these are from years and years ago, so they might have gotten so much better. Everybody has a different style of photography that they like, so this is just my opinions. I, Everybody that I've worked with, I have liked working with them, and I have a relationship still with most of, most of these people. And also, most of these headshots were taken by different people, so I tried to not get duplicates as far as the photographers. So the first one, this one... I, this one I know was for sure a trade for photo. I remember doing a photo shoot. Um, we actually worked with a stylist that time and we were taking photos for the stylist website, but also for the photographer's per portfolio. So they weren't at all meant to be headshots. I just made it a headshot by putting it on my backstage casting and at the time SF um, casting. And I would say maybe I got a call back. It's a little distracting in general and the background, the bricks are very much fake and it's it's just too distracting. I would not use this today. My skin looks perfect and I don't like to look perfect in my headshots. I like to look as much as I like I do in real life, like I do when they see me in person. Um, so they're booking, you know, the right person, the person that looks like the photo. So this one, I just look a little too perfect as far as my skin and, you know, general, I, I, I don't think I should have used it for my um, actor headshots, but I did. And I'm pretty sure I got some kind of callback from it. This next one is from a photographer that I have worked with a lot of times, it's Justin and I've known him for a long time. Um, and this one, I my hair is a little bit messy. The you know the lighting isn't as great. I know we were doing an outdoor shoot, and the necklace is a little distracting, so I wouldn't have used that necklace. But again, I'm sure I got a call back from it because I definitely had this picture on my casting networks account for a while. So it's an okay photo. It looks like me. It's not perfect at all. So I would say maybe call back. 
This other one I love, even though it's really distracting, I'm gonna put it in booked. Um, this one is from Lawrence. He's another friend of mine that's been friends for years and years and I know him because of theater in the Bay Area. And that picture is just, it just, it's a nice smile. It shows action personality. It's that Blue Bottle, which Blue Bottle is one of my favorite chain coffee shops. But that one is just, it has a nice energy to it, a genuine smile. And this one, I know for sure I booked something off of it because I had that one for the longest time on my websites, my casting websites. And um, I, I just really like the energy of that one. Even though it's not a traditional headshot, um, I'm sure I booked some kind of commercial. This one is recent. This one, um, oh yeah, that uh, last one was probably from 2018. And this one is from 2020, July 2020. This one is super recent and uh, well, I mean, not super recent. It's now January of 2021. It's the most recent one that I have. It's the one that I look like the most, although I did get new glasses. So I still own those glasses, but it's not the ones that I wear all of the time. This one isn't over edited. I think it looks like me. It's the same length hair I have now. Um, I'm wearing my favorite fabric, which is denim, so booked. I currently have this photo and all of my headshot truck photos on all of my casting websites, and they're great, and I use them for bookings, and my agents use them for bookings, so I love that headshot. This next one was probably from 2017 or 18. I'm going to put it on callback, even though it's I don't love the facial expression and it looks okay if somebody was booking me for something maybe a little bit more dramatic or detective-esque that world of you know not commercial um it's an okay headshot the photographer is a great photographer his name is robert silver my agency marla del talent um i don't know if they still do but um when the last time I visited their offices a couple of years ago, they had this photographer's business card um, at their offices as one of the photographers that they do um, ask people or suggest to, for people to take headshots with. And that's actually how I paid for my headshots. Um, the first time I had Ben Krantz and I know, yeah, I have his, his, his headshot that he did for me right here. I'm going to put it on booked because I used that picture for a few years. Um, my agency asked me, to use them well they suggested i use them once i signed with my agency they said we want new headshots the headshots that you have are just not what we're looking for and the they also wanted full body shots for commercials and stuff like that so they asked me to go or suggested for me to go with ben krantz and i remember i paid 350 dollars I don't remember if it was timed, um, but we got a couple of good headshots. They told me that I should wear this color, that it would look nice with my skin tone. So although I don't think it looks terribly like me, you know, too much like me, um, it was still a good photo. I liked it. It looks professional. So I know for sure I booked some commercial got jobs from this headshot. Um, there, this other one, there was a period of time that uh, my hair was red. I don't know if you can tell that much in this photo, but uh, again, Justin, um, the same person that did this other one over here, um, he took these headshots after I dyed my hair red, and this is a shirt that I get asked to wear all of the time whenever they want you to bring your own wardrobe, and it's some kind of tech commercial. They always ask me for this one, so... This one is fine. Again, it looks like me. Um, I had my red hair, which I wanted to show people when I was submitting to bookings um, to casting calls that I had red hair. So I'll say callback. Um, I'm surprised we haven't gotten any like don't submit. Um, let, let's let's do one from way early. So this picture. Uh, <laughs> This must have been in 2009 or 2010. I remember this was a trade for photo. Um, you know, this one wasn't such a great experience because I was really young. I didn't know what I was doing. It took me over a year to get this picture back. And you can see that, you know, I'm not dressed really for headshots. Um, and I don't know what that pose was. He photoshopped the flower onto my head. I'm just going to say I, I posted it on social media. I thought I looked cute at the time. So that was a social media post. Um, I probably had it on my backstage back in those days because I needed a photo. But um, today I would not. If I took that same photo today looking like that with, you know, straight hair and that outfit, 
I mean, the hair is fine. The hair is fine, but I would not put that on my social media. Um, sorry, I would not put that on my casting accounts at all. This picture is from LA Castings uh, free headshot session. So they're called uh, studio sessions. And I did a whole video about that. And it's essentially a 15 minute headshot photo shoot for free if you are a premium member. But I have a video on it with all of the details. And this one, I'm going to say callback because um, I, I did, I think I did bad in not putting on a little bit more makeup or, you know, posing a little bit better because on the side over here, you can see there's like, I don't know. So, well, I have a vein. I always wear makeup, but I have a vein that I've had forever. When I was little, people used to ask my mom if like I fell down or people used to ask me if I got like punched in the face, but my veins under my eyes um, often show. So you can definitely tell in this one, um, I should have just put on a little bit more makeup. I definitely use this as a photo to submit to work, but um, I'm not in love with it and I should have chosen a better shirt, even though I thought, okay, black, I can use it for a lot of different things. Um, in retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have used black because it's not, it's not as fun. And yeah, I just, I'm okay about it. I, when I first got them, I was very excited about the headshots. Now it's, you know, it's like meh. This one is from 2017. I believe and I'm gonna say it looks like me because it does look like me and um, I don't know what I was doing posing in front of the water for a headshot I remember that this was also a trade shoot so the photographer actually took our Christmas photos and my headshots the same day um, yeah that's not a good headshot pose I wouldn't say and in front of the water and then the lighting the harsh lighting really dark on one side and light on the other I would say it looks like me so if I was submitting to a job and they needed to see what I look like that day this one would have been a good photo but definitely not headshot status. Okay this other one it was probably 2010 and um social media post this was another trade shoot and you know what the other photo is also from the same day the same photographer and i know for a fact i printed both of these so that i can use them to go on auditions for theater no i shouldn't have done it i should have just thought i look cute so posted it on facebook or instagram i just i just look kind of cute but it's not a headshot don't use it for headshots the first one i i don't know like the hair is covering a lot of my face i don't know that you should hold pose like that for headshots and then the other one the reason i know the reason why i use this one as a headshot and it's because i have a blazer on so i wanted to go for the tech commercials and that kind of thing whatever kind of editing that they did um washed over my face so it's it's highly filtered and it's not great because for the purposes that I wanted it for because it doesn't really show what my skin looks like if somebody wanted to book me for some kind of skincare commercial then they would have said hey can you just do a quick photo with your cell phone so we can know what your skin looks like because it's blown out here this one uh I'm just gonna put it in don't submit like don't even put it on social media even though I I think I look fine um it looks highly edited. Uh, it's black and white, first of all, so definitely not. Your headshot should not be black and white. It doesn't really look like me. Maybe it did at the time. I definitely have some baby fat back then, and I feel like I have a little bit right now, too. Uh, I would just say just don't, just don't do it. Don't put it on social media and advertise this as your headshot or anything. So that was probably 2009, 2010. This other one, again, I don't know why I'm posing like that and my armpit is shown. I would not. Don't submit. Don't even pretend it's a headshot. Why am I laying down for my headshot? I, again, this was uh, th this photographer was for a trade shoot. The way I found a lot of these photographers were through Facebook groups. So there are Facebook groups for photographers slash models slash actors, filmmakers, just there's all kinds of um, groups on Facebook and you can meet different people there. And I have met some really cool, really talented people that I'm still friends with today. But um, there's also some, you know, maybe one day I'll tell you some of my creepy stories. Thankfully, I've only had like two or three, um, one really bad one. But um, yeah, 
but this this was for a trade shoe and it, it was like hey i need to practice my photography skills and then i was like cool i need headshots we can get some photos of you know fashion or whatever kind of photography that you are interested in if you want it to be like action or modeling or whatever it is and then we can take some time to take some headshots um yeah these aren't so great um this one is from 2012 and i would say social media post because again why is my armpit in this picture again <laughs> generally i would say don't have your armpit in your headshots uh, this one was taken in Oakland. I remember in Lake Merritt, there's a bonsai rose garden, something like that. And um, we went and took a bunch of photos and we took some good photos this day. This was 2012. It was a trade shoot again with a female photographer and we took some cool photos that day. It's just, I shouldn't have used this as a uh, submitting. So all of these photos at one point or another, I submitted to something with this one. I, I wish I could have seen the face of the person who received it as an acting submission. <laughs> this one is Lauren's, um, I'm gonna say booked. So this one is the same as the first one. Um, my friend Lauren's from theater. Actually, it was the same day. Yeah, this is one of the ones that was doubled. I think I look fine and it looks like me and it doesn't look over edited or too perfect. Maybe I cropped it a little bit when I um, printed it to take to auditions back then in 2000. That one was probably 2017 or 18. Well, here are a couple from my red hair days. So I remember that spring, I want to say it was spring or summer time where I actually did a hair show. So they paid me around $300 for I think it was two days they're like we can do whatever we want to your hair and then you were allowed to give them a little bit of feedback like I won't go I won't have a buzz cut and I told them I'm willing to go to for natural colors like naturally existing in humids like reds browns blonde black that kind of thing and I told them I'd be willing to do up to a long bob so um that's exactly what they did they dyed my hair red and then they uh they cut it. Um, this one I'm going to put in callback. Um, it, this one my friend George took of me. He's a great photographer. I have a lot of really cool um, photos that he took of me and model-esque photos of me a couple of years ago. I've done a film with him, a short film. I, it was for his uh, senior project in San Francisco. And um, yeah, I posted about it not too long ago in November. So he's super talented. Um yeah, that one is an okay photo. It shows that my hair is red, so I probably got a call back from posting it. This one is from Shane Izakowski, and he's a great friend of mine. He's taken a few of my headshots. This one I really liked. I definitely printed it out. I definitely put it on all my um, submission websites, and it showed my hair. Um, it doesn't show me, you know, my skin too perfect. I don't think he edited it too much other than, um, you know, the basic colors and tones and brightness and that kind of thing. But I most likely booked something from it because, you know, it shows a little bit of expression. It looks like me. And again, I'm wearing denim. I love, oh my gosh, I'm wearing denim in so many of these. <laughs> um oh whoops okay here's the other one that I doubled definitely booked something from it um this was the same day in a different location we're walking around San Francisco near Dolores Park um this last one um I'm gonna put in don't submit again it was when I just had my hair red and that the waviness of my hair was natural so this day i remember my friend jasmine had gotten the newest iphone at the time this must have been 2017 or 18 whatever year i dyed my hair red um she got a new camera so we we're taking so many photos this this was when you can select portrait on your iphone so that you could take like a portrait and then the background would blur out a little bit but i was standing like in front of uh, a wall so you can't even tell anyways we were taking photos of each other I took some really good headshots for her that time outside and I was like oh my god you have to take some of me and I would say don't submit it like you think you look cute but don't even put it on social media because no the sad thing is that I definitely <laughs> I definitely remember printing this headshot to use for auditions these are these are my headshots i would say you know most of them were, were pretty okay they're not completely cringy and 
you know, unprofessional. Uh, maybe I'll feel different about them in another 10 years, but I think these, these are pretty good. Um, some of them are way over edited and shouldn't be in general. If you, uh, are looking for, you know, some general advice about your headshot. Make sure it looks like you and don't be too distracting. You know, don't wear too much makeup. Just look like you look like you would walk into your audition because when people are seeing your headshot, they want to see you. They want to see what you look like. And if you can put a little bit of your personality in there, that's fine too. But don't get too crazy. Like, props and stuff. Tell me what you guys thought about my headshots and if you would have booked me for if I sent you any of these. Um, yeah, that was fun looking through all of those headshots. And I have so, okay, I have so many more. It's just that I have had laptops and different computers since I started acting to today. And I asked my mom if she can send me some from high school because I know I have some from high school, but um, she wasn't able to send them by the time I started filming this. So maybe I will show them in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that to go back to the headshot truck soon so I can get updated headshots with my new glasses and then just in general updated headshots because the last ones I took were in July. So I like to keep up with my headshots and keep updating them. And I did make a video with them about them um, a couple of months ago or oh my God, in July. Oh, five months ago. Uh, six, six, it's January, six months ago six months ago. Yeah, I definitely need to go back and take some new headshots. Anyway, at the end of every video, I feature another channel. Uh, this is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, all you have to do is subscribe, leave me a comment, and like this video.